Hi guys, this is Matthias, and in today's video I'd like to share some recently obtained information about Immersus. I've had a little bit of a conversation with uh, one of the lead devs, or THE lead devs, lead devs and um, among other things, he revealed uh, some of his uh, future ambitions with this game, uh, where the game is going, and he revealed four of the most important games he has as sources for inform uh, sources for inspiration, not information, inspiration. Now, when I first started playing this game, I initially started thinking about uh, PVE games such as Skyrim and Fallout and those kinds of games where you need to gather material like this NFT, this collected spruce log. Um, normally in games, NFTs are not uh, needed if, because most games that we played so far are not on the blockchain. But um, in terms of gameplay, I I thought that you know this is a this is has some foundations for being like an adventure game, um, like Skyrim, or you could probably mention a hundred different games, but I've played a very limited amount of those games, so I'll just use Skyrim as my example. And when I brought that up to said lead dev, he said that, well, I have far greater ambitions than Skyrim, and, well, I gotta say that's a, that's a rather bold statement, but, uh, okay, if he says so, I'll take it. And uh, I'm hopeful. Now, from his own personal experience, or from his, his own personal view, he mentioned four games that he specifically were inspired by. And I'm going to see, I, I wrote it down here, so I'm going to show you which ones it was. Uh, turns out I might have misplaced this. So here we go. So the four different games, and unfortunately I gotta say I haven't played any of them, but they are quite well known. One of them is Animal Crossing, New Horizon. Another one is Dark Soul, it's quite a well known game. Uh, the third one is Monster Hunter, and the fourth one is uh, Zelda. So, quite different games compared to what I thought of when I saw when I first started playing this game. But um, this whole gathering, crafting, looting, and uh, also PvP and PvE combat that is coming is to me very very exciting. Now, I know when it comes to PvP, there's quite um, quite a lot of people that don't want PvP at all. And there are quite a lot of people that only want PvP games. And I think this game is going to be divided between PvE and PvP, so that if you don't want a PvP, you can just avoid it. If you really want a PvP, well, you have to go to a certain section of the game in order to get that. Now, what's also interesting about this game is that the 25th of December, now, uh, right after Christmas, there's going to be a free-to-play weekend. Uh, no, free-to-play week. An entire week that is free-to-play. And, well, the game is... Well, the game is going to be free-to-play when it uh, launches. But even now, it's, well, almost free-to-play. You have to have a beta key to... Or beta key. I, sorry, I, I know I'm getting a lot of flack for how I pronounce it. Beta, beta, beta. Um, and you can buy this on the Atomic Hub. Last I checked, it was less than five dollars. And uh, but even so, if you don't have a Wax account, you don't have any any money on on Wax. You don't have any Wax, then it might be a bit of an obstacle to get fundings to your Wax account in order to just purchase this uh, beta key for those said five dollars or like I don't know nine or ten Wax. But being able to play this game for free for a week, all you need to do is uh, get a Wax account. I'm going to put a link in the description so that you can uh, follow that link. 
and just create a wax account creating a wax account is free you don't need to worry about um, uh, the normal stuff like you don't have to install metamask or anyth anything similar you don't have to worry about your seed phrase or anything just make an account just like any other account and uh, you can just basically start playing this game now the whole free to play game with immersus and with the wax blockchain is a little bit misleading in some aspects now most of the games maybe all of the games on the wax blockchain are free to play assuming you have some wax staked but in order to perform any kind of actions like selling trading uh, crafting anything like that you need to have a little bit of wax staked in order to obtain energy and the energy on the wax blockchain comes in three different forms it's CPU which you're going to need the most of and then you're probably going to need a little bit of RAM and a little bit of net now, if you're just starting out with wax I would suggest that you start with one RAM one ra uh, one um, one net or one uh, one wax of RAM one wax of net and the rest into CPU now CPU you probably need 20 or 30 depending on what game you play and uh, then of course you need wax to buy NFTs like this axe or if you want to have a pickaxe like this or the bug net like this but uh, if you just want to you know run around this game and check it out see what it's all about you can run around without any tools you don't have to buy any tools you can uh, if you if you choose to do that you don't have any tools all you can do is pick up hemp and I'm going to try to get to oh there I see a I see a hemp here so obviously this axe is not gonna help me pick up hemp but you can actually pick up hemp like this even if you don't have any axe you probably need to run around and try to pick up hemp like maybe for four or five minutes uh, for each time a hemp drops and as you probably notice here when I'm running around here chopping wood I don't actually get anything I don't I don't receive any wood I don't receive any logs or anything that's because it's very rare that you get any uh, that you get rewarded with in this case uh, spruce logs from these trees and I think the reason for that is to counter bots so uh, anyway there's some very very interesting and very important updates and information about where this game is actually going and me personally I'm a bit I don't know I have one foot on each side here when it comes to PvP versus PvE now on a personal level I prefer PvP I think that's most interesting most exciting and that is what I basically do all the time except in rare occasions and that goes also for um, oh here we got a stone that also goes for um, survival games I, I normally focus on the PvP aspect but from a more pragmatic point of view in terms of the development of the game I think it's it would probably be wiser or more imp would be a better choice to go with PvE at least first because I think based on the people that I talked to and based on all the possible frustration of PvP I think there is more people that are interested in play to earn games and early early access games or games that are in such an early state of their development there are going to be more people that are interested in PvE rather than PvP and part of that is how you well you have cheaters you have people that can gang up on you you have the frustration of being killed when you just want to run around and gather resources and all that stuff there, there are so many things that can go wrong with PvP and the game has already had PvP in the past before I started playing and I heard nothing but player frustration from that time of uh, of immersives from from the people that I've talked to at least I mean there's probably uh, a flip side to that coin as well but uh, everybody that I talked to was just frustrated over the PV, uh, PvP aspect of immersives I think also that there's so many variables that needs to play in in order to make a PvP funny or exciting just because you add PvP into a game doesn't mean it gets better it, it can 
it can go the other way around. PvE, on the other hand, well, you can just avoid it, but I would love to see how the resources that we gather actually have in-game usage rather than just being part of making tools for gathering more resources. I mean, right now you're just gathering resources to either sell or to craft tools to gather more resources. And I understand that's part of a very early game. It's perfectly understandable. But the sooner we can have some in-game usage other than just gathering resources with the resources that we gather, the sooner the better, I, I, I'd say. And from a personal point of view, I think that a system with dungeons or a system with, like, I don't know, islands or something. Oh, my, my pickaxe disappeared there. Where you teleport from this main... Uh, this section here is called the forest. And um, where you teleport to, let's say, a dungeon or an island or something, another section of the map, and you uh, have to finish certain quests in order to... Uh, obtain whatever uh, reward for it. I also think that it would be most exciting if in order to start one of these quests you needed some resources. You need to either obtain resources from gathering or buy resources on the uh, wax hub or uh, atomic market I mean and that that way you would have more incentive to actually run around and gather resources and there's nothing new about that idea in any way I mean it's very common that you need to build up your character in order to finish certain quests um, that's just normal gameplay and uh, yeah I would love to see that happening in Immersus as soon as possible now what has also been revealed recently is that at the same time of the free week, which happens um, the 25th of December, there's also going to be a skill and level system for your character. And I'm going to see if I can... I'm going to read the announcement here from Discord. So I quote, It's coming! XP levels and skills. Levels and skills will be, reve will be released on December 25th. Sorry about my English here. Now when you are shopping a tree or mining an ore, you will receive XP orbs, which you can pick up and level up your character with. So that's coming the very same day that the free weekend begins. So another set of exciting news coming for your character build up. And I know that a lot of you guys watching my content on my channel with AAA titles such as Battlefield, despite the disappointment with the recent titles and whatnot, you probably want more action than running around gathering ore or wood, but uh, I have high hopes that this is coming, and until then, I want to make sure that my character at least in some degree is leveled up to be, well, somewhat competitive. Somewhat, somewhat competitive to the other players. I don't want to start from scratch when that happens. So yeah. Hope you're excited about the new updates for Immersus. And what do you think about the lead devs inspiration? The four games that I mentioned earlier. Let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to sign up and make your free account on Wax. Wax has a lot of games and there's a lot more coming. It's definitely a platform you need to be on if you have any interest in play to earn or play and earn NFT games. So, yeah, thanks for watching.